Hey, 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 hell, hell, hell. There's time. I'm off, I'm off to work. What should I do? I'll find out. Well, I guess it's pretty late. If you got nothing to do, just go to bed. Aww. Sleep. Okay. And don't actually unlock the door to the room. Don't want to sleep in the hallway. Okay. Um. I could just ignore him and go away. Let's go exploring. Ooh, there's a person in here. Hi, person. Hi, person who wasn't here before. That's really snug. I wonder if they'll let me take it home. No, I don't think they will, lady. It's not your bed. It's the hotel's bed. Hi, people. What are you? Lots of interesting books, really? You sleeping? There's a bed right here. See? See, it's very comfortable. Doesn't look like anything's changed. I guess I can need to go to sleep, maybe, possibly, possibly, possibly. Okay, I'll go to sleep then. Wow. That hit detection was really off the door, wasn't it? Bedtime. Oh my clo oh my clothes. Eh, it's not that hot, so whatever. Good night, me. Up already. And it didn't even heal me. Hmm. Very creepy music. Or lack thereof music. Just crawl into random people's beds. I thought these two were siblings. Oh, they still might be, I don't know. Shouldn't judge. Well, in that case, you can judge, but whatever. Hey, Willie, me awake? No? Okay. We. That room, the alcohol room's empty. What's with these tiny little lies everywhere? Oh, these are just normal rats. I thought they were lies. You just, you merged with the wall there. Okay. How about over here? Nothing. How about up here? There's a lot of rats in this place. What's that? Oh my. Is, is that a dead guy? I gotta call someone. Is he dead? No, not dead. He's just knocked out. That shows signs of a strangling. What now? Well, it's a dead of night. The manager and everyone's probably asleep. Since he's not dead, don't really need to hurry to tell him anything. Really? Well, why not? If we leave him here, whoever crucified him might come back to finish him off. That's why we'll keep him in our room till morning. I'll carry him. Then grab his necktie. Okay. Sleepy. Let's find the manager to report this to her. She slept by him all night. Mm. Poke. That's my cake. Better not wake her. Sounds like she's having a blast. Curious, can I? Nope, okay, no sleeping for me. Now it's time to find the manager, see? Are you in here? No, you're not doing your stripper routine, I see. Are you in your room? Yes, you are. Yes, 
Um, I want Toxie last night. I see. It happened again. Again. Similar things have happened several times before. But the man does have a certain personality, after all. One could call it karma. First things first, we'll ask him for details directly. Of course. Mr. Lucas is sleeping in my room. Understood. I'll go on ahead and wake Miss Lucas up. In that case, I'll kidnap your child. He's asleep. Nothing else to steal, eh? I see. That's suspicious. Also, what the heck is having money in this game for? I've yet to use it. Very suspicious. Let's talk to Lucas first of all. Hey, morning. Good morning, Mr. Lucas. So, do you know who put you up on that cross? Oh, uh, I don't know about that. I can't remember, I just vaguely recall being strangled, maybe. As I thought. He did say this had happened before. Oh, Sophie dear, you told this punk about it? Lucas, must I remind you not to call me that? Oh, right, right, I know, I just let it slip, don't get mad. Is this the third time being strangled and crucified? It's the fifth. See, can't remember nothing. We're going, we're going to contact the police this time. Hey now, Miss Manager, it's not like I'm hurt or nothing, no need to do that. Never contacted anyone about this before? Well, Lucas getting stabbed and strangled is almost an everyday occurrence. We were never particularly worried. But the same isn't in repeating in something new. And I'll be too late to look into it once he's died from it. Don't talk like that, I mean, I'm right here, you know? Well then, I'll place the call. We'll be closing the, res the resort for today. Take the day off. Maybe I should talk with him again. She's asleep. Nope, okay. Sure can't play the bar par somewhere you're not, huh? What? I don't think nothing, I just found it funny. You don't remember a thing? All the times this has happened? Just like I told you, that part of my memory is just gone. I wonder who's the culprit. I wonder too. I got no ideas. Or actually, more like there's way too many candidates to narrow it down. I'm a real sinful guy. Then you ought, then you ought to take the punishment. Don't go talk like Sophie now. But yeah, I don't think you're going to get much useful in fodder, me. I've never been able to remember nothing all the other times. I see. What, going to say you're extra detective or something now? There, all, there always has to be a liar in these situations. And then right there eats them. It'll take a week, tops. Oh, I see. I was wondering about that. The kid seems real fond of you. But how about you? If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't be a leader ever, leading her around everywhere. What? Oh, it just looked like you were enjoying yourself. Oh, really? Still feeling a little sluggish, so I'll be going to my room. I think you ought to take care of yourself a little more first. So long. Good luck. Let's make some notes. Oh, I left my memo book in my old clothes. Let's see, what can I write on? These tissues should do the job for now. Alright, time to talk to the others. Memo 1. Lucas' memories are apparently lost every time, so he can't remember a thing. Still can't go to sleep. Okay. Investigation. Hmm. See? Aha! Mm, suspicious. How about you? Oh, it's about you. 
Heavy misty memories kind of gives me this sort of squirmy feeling. I mean, it's not nice to... It's nice not to have the memory of being strangled by a girl. There's lots of other memories I'd rather forget. can those just go poof too? Hmm, whoever said it was a girl, see? Suspicious. It seems the things are getting serious. I'd like to ask you if you know anything about this matter. Oh? Did someone ask you to do so? Yes, she said it could be awful for Mr. Lucas, and this continues. The resort is closed for today, so she asked me to assist. I see. I'm terribly sorry you got wrapped up in all this just after arriving. But I need to attend to other matters at the moment. Could you come back a little bit later? Yes, ma'am. Sorry to disturb your work. Suspicious. Still asleep, eh? What is it? We're closed for today, so you can head out to town and shop if you like. No, I'm fine. Actually, I was wondering if you knew anything about Mr. Lucas. About Lucas? Hmm. I'm sure you've already become fairly aware of his womanizing habits. Yo, he's always been this way. He's gotten him stabbed and whatnot too many times to count. Crucifixion is too good for him. It's almost comical how beyond fixing he is. There's a woman he's dating right now as well. Someone he's dating. Would that woman be our own employee, Olivia? The snake woman in the red dress, you know. The big titty girl, eh? Um, are Mr. Lucas and Miss Olivia getting on well? Well, Olivia is a jealous sort, so she's displeased to see him with other women. So as long as she's looking, Lucas must not mingle too much with other girls. But as far as I can remember, they haven't got in any especially big fights. I see, thank you very much. I do hope this can all be resolved. I know, I'll do what I can to assist. I apologize for getting you involved in this so immediately. Tell me if anything comes up. Yes, ma'am. In a relationship with Olivia, it feels like I'm starting to see the crux of this. There's still things I don't know. I'll have to ask her directly. Still asleep. Suspicious. You, eh? You are a very suspicious individual. And I will talk to you in just a moment. But as for you, you need to stay humble.